Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install a non-Steam Windows game on your Steam Deck that is running on the Linux based Steam OS. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be installing the Windows version of Soma on my deck. I own the GOG version of Soma. Open my GOG library. Here selected Windows as the platform and downloaded the offline setup files for this game. You can see download offline backup game installers. I downloaded all of these files on my Windows based PC, transferred them on this pen drive, formatted the pen drive to EXFAT format so that it gets detected on both Windows and Linux based Steam OS. Here I am assuming you already have the setup files for your Windows based game and looking for a way to install it on your Steam Deck. So I am just going to connect the pen drive to my Steam Deck. I am going to do this process in offline mode. You can see disconnected from the internet. So just open Dolphin File Explorer and under the removable devices section, uh, external storage will be highlighted. First one is the SD card primary. Second one is the connected USB drive. In the SOMA folder, I have placed all of the setup files. So I just need to run this setup exe file. I'll be using Steam itself to run the installer. We'll be using G Proton as the compatibility layer. It basically allows the Windows based applications to run on Linux. So let's download the latest version of G Proton. You should already have it, but for the purpose of tutorial, let me just show you this. From the Discover Store, download this application Proton Up QT. From here, you can download the latest versions of G Proton. I'll be using this version 7-43. For the purpose of downloading the latest version of G Proton, I need to connect to the internet. Yeah, now just click on add version. It will find the latest version for you. This is the latest version. I have already installed it. After selecting the latest version, just click on install and you are done. So I'll just close this app. Disconnect from the internet. Now just start Steam in the desktop mode. error code offline don't worry just go to library just click on add a game click on add a non steam game click on browse navigate to the directory where the setup files are present in my case it's the usb drive there it is open the folder soma file tab set to all files now look for the exe setup file last one select it click on open make sure it is checked then click on add selected programs it has been added to my steam list search for it there it is now just click on the settings cog here click on properties select compatibility enable this setting Select the compatibility layer. I'll just use G Proton 7 43, latest version. Close. Now the installer should work. Click on play. Wait. There you go. Okay. I'll be installing the game on my SD card. Not enough space. I have the 64 GB ROM variant of Steam Deck. Just enable this. Yes, I have read and accept EULA, whatever it is. So need to change the install directory, click on options, browse, search for your SD card location. In my case, it is the D drive, yeah, test folder, I created it for SOMA. OK. You can see the free space 72.5 GB RSD card got detected. You can uncheck this create test tab icon not required. Game size is around 21 GB. So all you need to do is click on install and the setup will start. Installation is going on. It will take some time. I'll check back after a few minutes. All right, almost there. Yeah, installed. So just click on exit here. Open Steam again from the desktop mode. Just click on library. I can stop this setup. 
Now I just need to add the game's exe file to my steam list in order to run it. Don't need to create a separate entry. What I am going to do is retarget steam to launch the game's exe file instead of the launcher. And just select the launcher here. Click on settings icon. Click on properties. First let's just change its name. I'll just name it as Soma. I need to change the target directory. Just click on browse. So navigate to the directory where you have installed the game. For me it's the SD card location. There it is. Test folder. Soma folder. Look for the exe file. There it is soma.exe. Select it and click on open. Make sure compatibility layer is checked. Gproton will allow the Windows based game to run on Linux. Before starting the game, let me just add the artwork for it. I'll be using the boiler application, already shown you its setup. Very useful application. Automatically imports the artwork. Okay, I need to connect to the internet. Someone uses BSNL in my area. <laughs> just click here searching for images downloading 5 images that is it restart the steam client there you go go to library search for soma there it is artwork loaded I have two somas in my library one is actually the steam version of the game the other one is the GOG version that I just installed you can verify it from here go to properties check the target location yeah so we are ready to run the game let's see whether it works or not I'll disconnect from the internet offline this is optional instead of starting it from here I'll just start it from steam's gaming mode still disconnected from the internet looking for soma let me just search for it there it is so let me check out the controller layout for it gamepad with joystick trackpad this should work play and you can see guys our game has started completely offline since it is a non-steam game, it is possible that the game stutters when you play it for the first time due to the compilation of shader cache. It doesn't happen with every game. It depends on the game engine as well. Display settings 800p resolution. Okay, my mouse is working. Let me just disable it. There you go. Game supports controller 800p resolution. 60 hertz if I say anti-aliasing enable and let me just show you the performance tab overlay set to level 3 per game profile always these settings have been disabled frame rate limit set to 60 refresh rate set to 60 hertz this game is not very demanding depth of field set to high effects enabled texture quality set to high Let's start the game. Alright, game has started. My phone is vibrating. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, okay need to find right. it. I'll see you in a couple of hours, then. Okay, see you soon. It's dark. I'm looking for the tracer fluid. Where did I put the tracer fluid?
नॉट है लेट मी जस्ट टर्न ऑन द लाइट Check the fridge. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. There it is. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking out a penny. So the game went very nicely, guys. I'll just exit from the game. You can see still disconnected from the internet, offline gaming. So that was the gameplay. Now let's say you want to access the game's configuration files that are usually present on the C drive. So let me just show you this as well. Switch to Steam's desktop mode. Just need to navigate to the directory where the compiled data files for different Steam games are stored. Just open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Home. Open dot local folder. Then open the Share folder. Scroll down. Open the Steam folder. Then open the Steam Apps folder. In this directory. You will find both shader cache and compart data folders. I'll just open the compart data folder first. In this directory, there are many folders having numbers as their names. Some of these folders have more numbers as compared to the others. These folders having more numbers as their names correspond to non-Steam Windows application. So, need to find the folder corresponding to Windows version of Soma that we just installed. There is one application that can do this very easily. Just open the Discover Store application and search for Proton Tricks. I have already installed it on my Steam Deck. Just launch it from here. This application simplifies the process for us. You can see it has provided the pseudo Steam IDs of all of the non-Steam Windows applications that I have installed on my Steam Deck. This is for Soma. So let me just look for this folder in the Compart Data directory. ending with 391 there it is and you can see it was last modified an hour ago so just open it then open the pfx folder basically the prefix folder drive c from here you can access the documents folder for the game i think this is where the game save files are stored so let me just look for that folder open the users folder open steam user there's the documents folder then go to my games then go to soma then go to main default there you go guys we found the save file this is the directory for the windows version of the game and this is how you can access the directory on linux based steam os it is very important to know about the compart data directory so let me just go back i'm just showing you its size around 300 mb and let's look for the shader cache folder there's the shader cache directory looking for the folder ending with 391 as the name i finally found it its size is around 4 mb not every game requires huge shader cache files in order to run smoothly shader cache size varies from game to game let me just open it two files in this folder these are the shader cache files. DXVK is basically the translation layer that translates DirectX 9, 10 and 11 calls to Vulkan. Another thing to mention here, since it's a non-Steam game, a pseudo Steam ID has been generated for it. This ID will differ from system to system. If it were a Steam game, a global Steam ID would have been generated. Let me just show you this. For example, I'll just copy the name of this folder having fewer numbers as its name. This is definitely a Steam game. Just go to SteamDB, copy the name here. We'll get to know about the game. This folder corresponds to God of War 2018. Now let's just copy the pseudo Steam ID and search for it on ProtonDB. 
it will find nothing there you go now the last step is remaining how to uninstall the game the process is fairly simple just open steam from the desktop mode so just go to library search for soma there it is select it click on the settings icon here I'll just run the windows based uninstaller go to properties change the target location from soma's directory look for uninstall.exe file there it is play yeah it started click on yes save games will also be removed successfully removed now let's check the SD card directory where we install the game test folder is still present but the files are gone now you need to make sure that the compart data and the shader cache files are also removed from your steam deck let's just check it manually not local share steam steam apps compart data let's look for the folder 391 it is still present 282 MB taking up space so let's delete it manually need to do the same thing for shader cache there it is so you need to manually delete these folders for every non steam windows applications that you install via steam I just move them to trash delete them from here as well now if you go back and click on play game won't start just remove it from our library right click on it manage remove non steam game from your library that's it gone finish here it's showing me the message that Proton Tricks does not have access to my SD card. We can grant the permission by copying and running this command in console terminal. So let me just do this. Right click copy. Go to system. Go to console. Paste the command here. Hit enter. That's it. Type exit and hit enter again. Restart Proton Tricks. This message should not pop up. There you go. Now the games installed on my SD card are also shown. I'll end the video here, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.